Hi everyone. Welcome to another Chaos Africa meeting. Hope you're all doing good. Um, please add your name to the notes. Um, let me know how you let us know how you're doing. Today, this week has been pretty slow for me. Because so today is Thursday actually. It has been a pretty slow week on fast. And exhausting too. Um, have you met anyone famous? Hmm. <laughs> Let me think. Me? <laughs> Let me see. I haven't met anyone famous before. Any celebrity? Let me start with Nigerian celebrities. Hmm. I think. Have you met any celebrity? I don't know. Usually, I think I have this thing where I meet people that are famous. I get so shy. I just I'll think about it. But if you have met anybody famous, oh, like, okay, I do go to concerts a lot. So it's really in the festive period. So I see a lot of artists. So maybe that counts. I don't know if any other person has met any famous person. Hmm. Um, can you guys hear me? Say something, say something. Yeah. <laughs> I can hear you. Hey. Hi, guys. Hi, everyone. Uh, good evening. Yeah, hi Harmony. What form are you asking of? Is it the meeting notes? Yeah, the meeting notes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. That's it. Yeah, gracias. Thank you. You're welcome. Ah, let me have met Vals. Like is it like in a concert or like on a one to one basis? Uh no, it was at a UB event. Oh cool. Okay. Let's get awesome. Um okay. So if you've met any famous person, please let us know in the notes. And if you can help us connect to that person too. I'm looking at newcomers. Everybody here is um familiar. I don't I don't think I know Mo. Hi Mo. Maybe I have not met you in any meeting. And uh, I think Rita. I don't think I know Rita either. Yeah, hello. It's my first time. Ah, nice. Uh, how are you doing? Where are you joining from? And um, what do you do? Okay, I'm joining from Nigeria, Abuja to be precise. Okay. I'm a front-end developer currently learning Node.js. Awesome. Okay, so you want to tilt? You want to be full stack, or you're tilting to the back end side? Well, full stack. Um, though for I'm already full stack, but for the back end is um Ruby on Rails. Okay. So, just trying to move into Node.js because it is more um most projects I come I come across uses um Node.js for their back end. Awesome. Yeah, I know this. Really, really learned in Python. Um, welcome. We hope you are able to have you made any contributions. Um so sorry. sorry, I didn't get you. Have you made any contributions or are you still like exploring? Okay, not yet. I went through the issue on um badging. Yeah, so I already signified an interest of mine. Oh, that's awesome. Hopefully, when it is assigned, I should start working on it with Mowo. Yeah. Oh, awesome. You're already working on it with someone. So <laughs> that's, uh, I love that spirit. Um, Hi, Mowo. I don't think I met you. Are you new? Are you new? Is this your first time in the meeting? Hi. Absolutely. No, no, it's not my first time. Oh, sorry, that means no. I missed. <laughs> okay. 
as well. Okay, no problem. I, you're also a developer, I guess, as well. Yes, I am. Okay. Um, so welcome, Rita. I hope you're able to contribute soon. Um, and uh, thank you for um joining our community. Um, so I think just we we'll do a round table across. I don't think I have any any announcements right now. So it's just our meeting notes today, just like a round table from the different groups. Um, to see what is happening and where people can help and get involved. Um, but if you have anything you want to discuss, um, you can as well put it in the um notes. Like if you have any question, anything you want to discuss that you think we should discuss in this meeting, the notes are open for you to like drop it in and they would um talk about it. Um, for developers, um, I think Adinka is on the what's going on i've been seeing a lot of things happening since all the cheese here i'm going to put social media i'm not saying i this meeting in a long time um okay so i think that do you want to is she still Hi. here yeah i'm here i'm here <laughs> hello can you hear me yes i can hear you okay it's good to be here again hi everyone Okay, so um, last week we kind of set out to clear all the issues on the project budget, um, on the budget website, like issues we intend to kind of resolve. And we created a one week challenge for us to be able to achieve that. And um, what that challenge is that uh, you pick an issue and then do peer programming with someone and that's why you heard um i don't know who spoke the other time was it rita yeah, rita. That, yes that she's collaborating with Mo to work on an issue so um i don't want to say that one week was kind of ambitious because um one lesson to learn was that i, I was really thinking i was going to get a lot of buzz and i just i just kind of saw silence so like, okay, what's the problem and all that? So what I did was to reach out to people in their DMs. And I now realize that a lot of people really didn't know uh, so much about the issues. Somebody mentioned that some of the issues do not have context. So, hmm. um, yeah. And so they've not even been able to like pick one to say, I want to work. So what I intend to do now is to probably work with Desmond and, um, you know, if he's available, to restructure the the um the issues, which goes back to the problem I highlighted before, that we needed to have like uh, a template for people to be able to write detailed um issues or detailed PRs to be able to help other contributors coming into the project. So uh, yeah. we do that over the weekend so that we can, so um next week we won't be having any chaos meeting and um, people might not even be working on um, any, any issue or any contribution. So in two weeks time, we should be able to finish. That's my, that's, that's my, um that's what I'm looking out for. I hope we're able to achieve that. Okay, so you have the action item to create the issue templates. I do agree. I think we've talked about this issue templates um some time ago. No, uh, we have issue templates. What I'm saying is, you know, those issues were created before we have uh, we well, so add, the, yeah, yeah. So restructuring the them. Okay, so I, yeah, I think... so there's a need to restructure the issues that have been created to fit um the template or to even create more context and make them well detailed so that. People coming newly into the project already have an understanding of what they are meant to do. So mm. that's where we are right now. That's and then true. I'm kind of excited about um, the concept of peer programming because I feel it will foster uh, um, connections like people meeting themselves. And then um, even I also plan to... Um, send like a short tutorial on how to work off branches 
when you're trying mm. to like create PR so that both contributors, their contributions can actually show in the repo, not just one person, even while they are peer programming. Peer programming, that's really nice. I think I, I also do like the idea of peer programming and it kind of brings connection to the developers mm -hmm. and the community. Right, and helps people work together, collaboration as well. So I like the idea of the pair program. And if you could do that um tutorial where like or that video where they could both work on it and get credited mm -hmm. um for mm -hmm. it to be great and we can also put it up in the rec in the YouTube, Chaos YouTube, okay. like all the great. We should definitely be putting it up in the YouTube or even in our education project. Um okay. yeah, so because that's um, that's one of the kind kind of like yeah. so it's good. Thank you. Let's see, I think you so, can stretch out it mustn't be one week as well, like we can stretch mm -hmm. it out so, can be can be a culture, right, for the developer group, like peer programming, working with people to do stuff. So we can stretch it out um to a longer timeline because one week might be too because other people have like that things, things that they're doing way. so the reason why I, I made it short like that is to create like this buzz this um you know when you set out to do something and you put a time to it mm -hmm. now in retrospect one week might be too short maybe a two week challenge next time but i feel like just picking one issue and working with someone on it Maybe taking some one hour, two hours. I've I've done that before with Desmond, and it was pretty exciting. It was, yeah. So yeah, it, sure. Yeah. So if we can just put a time to it, I just want to see what the outcome of that will be. That probably peer programming with someone could actually make people work on issues faster, rather than waiting months and we are asking, "Are you done? Are you done? When are you going to be done? When are you doing this and all that?" So. I'm just trying mm -hmm. to like experiment and come up with something that works. Okay, sure. That that also makes sense. So, thank you. I like I generally like the idea of the peer programming myself. So um not married to any timelines. Um yeah, I do agree, Harmony. Um let's see how the progress goes too. Um and then we can keep okay, someone said I should resend the meeting notes, sure. Um, I don't know if there are any any more feedback from people. I think people that have even participated in peer programming. How is it going? Is it something that you like doing? Um, is there any more comments? Or on what that? can be improved? What? Yeah. What can what, be improved? Yeah. Um, sorry, I just muted either. I don't know if you're trying to speak or you just joined. Um, any comments, feedback, comments? Okay, none. Um, so is this the this is the current project? Like this current thing happening? I don't know about Athos. Is there anything happening there? And like, are you the right person to speak to? Mm, not yet so you're still talking to me right yes 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 so um I, I, um i've not been able to talk with Catherine for a while now so i've been pretty much focused on the da high budget and um, project budget but i know that mm -hmm. it's time for us to actually look into half us because we have a lot of developers and contributors in in the community who are willing to contribute mm. into a new project so um we i think it's time for us to actually have catherine on ground to see how we can move the project forward yeah okay yeah and catherine there's a lot going on and um i understand sending love to our kenyan yeah so okay, so um, thank you for your work with DI budget. It's really good. You're holding down the project and the event budget. How is event budget going to like? I know one thing I know is like the bots always comes up with its issues. Are there have the bots been stable? What's been going on? <laughs> yeah. So um, I think I've experienced two issues with the bots, and um, 
I now understood what Elizabeth was trying to say that um, it's best that someone leading the budget also has some technical um, yeah. skill because when I then run into issues, I know how to go to the back end to sort it out. Okay. So there okay, was so one time. What did you say? You have all those permissions because usually it was Enoch that could sort out. Yes. Yes, I do. I do. So I just go to the back end um, and then try to tweak and find what the problem was. And so far, we've been able to get solutions to two different issues. One was when um, we, we issued a, a badge and the the stuff didn't go, it, it didn't save to the database. So only for the owner of the the badge to go to the official website and was looking for their for their event so he had to come back to the repo to ask so mm -hmm. i had to go to the back and try to find what the problem was i think it was due to network or something so i don't know what happened around that period i should have fixed it and it worked i can't really remember what happened the second time what happened it's been a while yeah, that's that's okay that's all right um, and and um, shout out to all the badgers, uh, the reviewers rather, the reviewers in, in this call. Anytime I reach out to people, I like their responses. They are always like, oh, I will do that right now. I'm on it now. And they respond as quickly as they can. Thank you, everyone. I might not be able to mention yeah. names so that I don't miss out people. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you can get all the notifications. <laughs> What did it say? But yeah, I, I see them coming. I usually get all the notifications. So the oh, are... okay. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes, I, yes, I can hear you now. Oh, okay. Okay. I I haven't looked at this website in a very long time. <laughs> I didn't know that this was now up. Well, nice. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's uh, actively running up, right? Yes. Like the numbers, the okay, one six six nice. Oh, this. You can actually go to the badge events to confirm also. Okay. Oh, nice. I haven't looked at this website in a very long time. Oh, I see Moa's name here. Nice. Yeah. Which was the reviewers? So it's from the what latest. Is, okay. Event. You... We'll work on that. Mm. That's like um. Yeah, we could have. This is just one two. Three, four. We could have like up to um. It might make the page longer. But I was thinking if we could have more because the pagination is like four. Four is too small. How about okay. it? Maybe we could have like six. Thank you. <laughs> As like an issue that we can, uh, we can create we have a mute an issue for that. Yeah, so you get what I mean now, right? Because it's, mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. very short, so it, and it's 166, you could have like 67 really to, to make it more. But, and also this thing, I don't know, is it mm. the way the button? I know, uh, there's an issue for that. Yeah. There's an issue for that. Okay. I like this. I haven't looked at it in a very long time. Well, yeah, I like that we have events budget up now. Okay, that's all great. Um, project budget. Yeah. Okay, budget project. Font and color scan. Let me just check. Okay. Um, it's at the budget project. Okay, great to work to everyone. Okay. Please hold on. Um, Harmony is trying to say something. Um, okay. Harmony, please could you explain what you mean by fonts and columns could be reduced? So oh. the sizes of, of each of those bars could be reduced to accommodate more, more events. I don't know if Ruth can go back to the page. Yeah, I'm yeah. on the page now. Yeah, the sizes can be reduced. By... Oh, yeah. The spaces are too much, it's... right? Yeah, it can be reduced. Right. I think it's 10 okay. uh, yeah, 10 per page so that the pagination is not so much because like it's a lot. Yeah. And the page hmm. size cannot increase like that. Could you drop a link? Yeah, could you drop a link to the issues so that maybe somebody wants to modify the context? Reducing, Reducing to, wait, um 
So I think um it would be best. Let's put it the, in the um in our agenda minutes. I see a lot of people commenting. Could you please put that in the agenda minutes? Because what you put here in the chat is going to be raised when we end the call. It would be nice to put it in the agenda so that I can then go back and then convert that to mm -hmm. issues. Okay, I think we'll comment there and then you look at it and then um, revise or something. What did you say, Harmony? Like in the minutes, we could just make comments beside it um, on regards to the, the budget page. Yeah. And then you so can look look into it and then create an issue okay then uh, orion 2 is also making some good comments here just notice that the loading let me, could be let me try yeah try to add them to the node hold on a second um okay so event urgent let me i'm adding them i think it's not loading in real time oh yeah i don't, oh, I don't my network is so poor thank you <laughs> I don't even understand what's happening. Yeah, my network. Since you're adding them, I'll just stop. Yeah, my network is super. Cool. Oh, you mean that loading thing, right? Yes. Could be my yeah. I mean, there's how the button would take would check the loading time. Hmm. Yeah, maybe somebody else could open the. Let me put the um the the link to the channel the chat. Maybe somebody else could. Try and see if it also shows that loading thing for them. Might be my network actually. My network is really, really crappy. Can you guys hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, so um, so you can drop the different um suggestions to the chat but thank you everyone like that website is looking really good and thank you think, uh, for holding the fort there um is there any other thing from developers group that we should know sorry please could um let me please could you help me put where you placed i think we restructure the old issues to fit the issue template then um Create a short tutorial on how to work off branches on Git. Thank you. I don't know what is happening to my PC, so I can't I can't type right now. Can you hear me, guys? Yeah, yeah, I can yes. hear you. Oh, 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 okay. Thank you. Okay. So I've added it. Uh, let me quickly read it. Make sure I got what you said. Create a short tutorial on how to work on short branches on Git, right? How to work off branches. How collaborators could work off branches. Okay. Or contributors. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you to Adenka. I don't know if anybody from design is here. Um, um, Rita is asking, Rita has a question though. Do we have to communicate about that issue before creating an issue? I think no, you have to just um go to the if you notice an issue, just be sure that the issue is not like already created. You could scroll through, like if you go to this page, the GitHub repo is here. So you could what you could do if you see I like, can issue on the website or a bug or something that should be fixed. You could just check the list of issues if it has already been created because um we have like some issues that have been created that were created quite some time ago that have not been resolved. So check if it's not here, that means the issue is not created. So you can just create the issue. And like you said, we have an issue template that you'll be able to. I mean, we're going to pick up. That's weird. Um, we have an issue template that you can fit in the issue, so you don't have to wait for anybody like to approve. The, like you can just create your issue, the issue if it hasn't been created. If you notice like a bug or anything, so I hope that helps answer your question. Um, Rita. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Great. Um. Okay. So I don't know. Is any the uh. He's not here. 
Yeah, design. for design, I'll just give a short um feedback. There's nothing much. The two projects are ongoing and still in progress. The Air Force and um Ogo websites. Yeah. Okay. Um. So Air Force and website are still in progress. How is the Ogo project going to? Yeah, it's going really well. Um, was it two weeks ago? We had like new insights on something. Um, so there are two like websites, <laughs> uh, the Ogo interface and then the Eight Knots website. So we like have decided to combine both of them as one. Oh, interesting. Um, yeah, so we are including that in the design now. That's okay. Yeah, because it used to confuse me a lot. Like, oh god, it's not. Yeah, it gets confused. But yeah, I guess uh, combining it to make it look better. Okay. Um. So for disability inclusion, the group, um, Victoria, do you want to talk about the blog post and like how people could help out with that? Um, okay. Um, hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon. So we just recently started our um weekly meetings. I wanted to put that put that out first. We just recently started our weekly meetings, and we're encouraging people who join the uh, working group to join in. We usually have our meetings on Mondays by six p.m. So we want um, people to join in and if we need the time or the day adjusted to suit everyone's convenience, we need to talk about it. And about the blog, Ruth, um, Ruth and Elizabeth suggested that it would be nice to create a blog for the Just Concluded Inclusion event and it's so it's an amazing idea and we are preparing funding on people who attended the event to add their positions. There's a blog, um, um a, a Google document has already been created by Ruth. It's the link is on our chat on our working group, right? So you can click on it and add to whichever um bulletin question that you you find interesting or you think you want to add your ideas in. Would love people who attended the event to do this. Um because like Ruth said the event was not recorded. Right. So it would be great for people who were in at the event to add their two cents to this. We would appreciate um, responses. So that the blog can be ready and posted. Um, I don't think there's anything that we said. That's it for now. Okay, so um, thank you, Peter. So we're trying to write out a blog post from for. This is just the structure that is here. I don't know what's loading up. Is this are these pictures are loading? Um, yeah, there are some pictures. Um, okay, so if we can drop the post the pictures, we can put it down and just okay, this is the this is the context I had added earlier so this is the structure that we're looking at context on the event uh, how the discussion went um and adding the feedback from the sessions i think these are the points that are not filled yet let me just make this look like bold so so these are the parts that are not filled out yet i know i think i took some notes so I don't know if you could help out with adding those things in this doc to um
Okay, so there are some contexts that have been added. So we need, like, if you are looking for technical writers or people that can help out with this. So if you're interested in, um, you know, contributing to it, please reach out to Victoria. And also, you can join the Chaos Africa Disability Inclusion Group. There's a channel for it as well. So, yep. Um, any more feedback, questions? Yes, that's no. The next agenda item is the research. Um. Right. Let me... Um. I'll go back. So, um, the last meeting I was in, we mentioned having like um more people in the research and I was supposed to put it on the research channel that we want to revive the research team. But I was actually busy for some time. So um but Harmony reached out this week and we had a meeting today and we've um like agreed that we'd have meetings on Thursdays at twelve PM. For the research focus group, we have like three ongoing activities. Um, the first is the post events feedback, and the feedback we also got from the discussion, um, during the events that we had two weeks ago, and we created we've created the feedback form for the post events share it with the accessibility team. They are reviewing it and they'll get back to us soon. And then the second is the um, issue and pull request templates impact evaluation. Also we've created like a research document for that and um, questions or like a general direction of how the research would go, share it with the developers team and um, would also be expecting feedback um, a third current project is the um, testing for um, the accessibility changes on Chaos website, and it depends. It would depend on um, the feedback we receive from the post event form, which we are um, going to give out to the attendees at the event. Part of the question is asking if they would be interested in that um, testing, the accessibility testing exercise. If we get people, then we would kickstart that. Um, so there are other um, things that we said we would initiate as a way of reviving the research group. But I think currently we have like uh, these current tasks are like enough to start with. So okay. when we move on, we can move on to the next. Um, how many has some ideas on how to like improve the documentation? And he says he's going to like review the documents that have been created and add feedback. So, um, yeah, we also still need more hands for anyone who's interested. It is really nice. I I couldn't get some of the ongoing activities. So if you could put it in the notes, that would be great. Um, you could yes. add in add them to the notes. Um, I couldn't capture everything. Well, well done to you both. Um, and if you're if you're interested in joining this team, like that, different skills that are needed here to not just having to research but reviewing things, documentation, like. Um, and then I like these different activities. I'm. I was going to ask. There's the form that the design, um, Kingsley designed for the the put together for the design focus group. I think to get feedback so far. Um, is that something that already also been your radar? Your radar. Okay, no, it wasn't before, but I think it's something to consider. So I'll get in touch with Kingsley. Yeah, that get in touch with. I don't know if he has shared it yet. Yeah, he has. That would be something that we could look at. He has okay, and he could even replicate it across all the other focus groups. 
as well just to see what's going on and how people are participating um yeah. so well what are we um do you want we can add the meeting to the chaos calendar um you could add it just reach out to elizabeth with the time so it shows up in chaos calendar so that people and if you need um i think you should need the what they call it the zoom so just let me know um i will connect you with like, elizabeth i'll let elizabeth know to give you access to the zoom so that you can host it so that the meetings can be recorded since yeah. All right. Thank you. Um, and also I think for disability inclusion is are the meetings being recorded now or if you are doing like a weekly meeting, I think we have to move it to being recorded as well. So um that reminds me. Um I don't know, um, Victoria, the meetings for disability were being recorded currently. And even, I think, uh, you record the dev meetings, right? Yes, I do. Okay, right. Um, so the meetings have not yet, we've not started recording the meetings, given that we haven't started like fully, but from next week, Probably we won't have to change our platform because we'll have to use the um, that allows for easy recording. But we just need to find the convenient time for everybody. We're yet to get that. I don't know, maybe we should do a poll for people who are in attendance or something. Yeah, you could do a post on the Chaos Africa channel. And then for recurrence, like once you have a settled time, I think I don't know how I, I need to check it with Elizabeth how we do the Zoom the Zoom permissions again because I think we we're exploring creating like separate Zooms for particular meeting and giving people access to them. But I will need to get like access to for you to record the Zoom, the Zoom calls. Because like on the YouTube um we have like playlist for the um focus group. So well yeah, um I'll check in with Elizabeth about that. Um Okay. Um any more questions on research things? Any more feedback? Um yes, I have a question. So one okay. of the things that we discussed initially was doing like a chaos wide um survey to check like community health within amongst contributors, which is something that's has been happening before. Um, mm. do you have like what's do you have like any feedback on that oh yes i did i send you the the question doc did i no sorry okay i'll check for it and send it to you um i know we do it towards the end of the year right but yeah. since like we have like the research team coming something that we can initially it was there's this independent DI audit team that used to handle that. But since we will have like this team being active, we can do that. Just um I would put it in down notes to you um today, right? The doc where we had the questions captured, right? And then I would ask Elizabeth, uh, what's the next timeline that we want? It's even something we could put as an agenda item in the next community meeting that will be up our week because like there are no meetings next week so it's that conversations on when we want to do general wide survey all right thank you um sorry you said there are no meetings next week so is it like upper week like in two weeks or in three weeks uh, no 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 i think the upper week just the upper week there are no meetings next week in the upper week all right we have meetings. We have meetings up our week. Okay. Uh, social media is uh, all. She's still here. What's going on around there? She's still here. And...
Um, you are muted. You are saying anything? Um, education. I think you can pause and see education. I think Peculia, you're the one that put this there, right? Yes. Okay. Um, why don't everyone? Why I put it there is um. I want to just uh, remind those that are working on the education uh, issues that next week there will be no uh chaos meeting. I want to first of all appreciate them for taking up issues on the education project and uh, written some of them have they've written some scripts and slide it just remaining recording the the video so I want to remind them to that next week there will be no um Kios meeting, so it means that a Kios Zoom is free. So do what to uh, let me know when you be free to record your uh, this your script, so I can book a time for you. Uh, okay. If anyone here, if anyone here is so willing to take up on any issues, we are free. We have we still have some scripts that are ready and. The slide also ready. So all you need to do is just to record the, the go through the slide, look at the samples, the ones that's been recorded, then just record according to what is on this slide. And for those also working on the issues, remember you give us like when you submit, send a PR, give us like a few days to um review and get back to you before we record so that's all i have on that thank you okay could you share the link to the images as well um sure okay um so i put it on the notes um we can share the link. Um, also you can drop an update on the chat if you're not able to speak. Like, just what's going on and where you need help. Um. Oh man, my 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 <laughs> my network is so poor that I keep uh, I keep <laughs> I keep messing up everything. So someone could help for maths. Oh my. I don't even know where this one is supposed to be. Um let me I the one that's adding the, the stuff. Yeah, and it's not even showing. Like is it Google Docs that's having the issue? Oh I mean. Is it like oh my god. Like it's not okay. okay. Let me copy it before you reload. Okay, I can see it now. Let me arrange mm -hmm. it. Sorry, my network. So bad. Okay, so I think the last thing I wanted to let you know about a podcast that was recorded last week. We did the Chaos Africa. So Chaos Africa members did the Chaos Africa podcast, and I think everybody should listen to it. It's, uh, it's funny. Myself, my blessing, Anita, and um it is bread so um, you all should listen to it it's quite funny and interesting so um, i'm going to drop it in the chat so you can use this and enjoy your, your... um oh no chaos africa doesn't have a podcast program so it's chaos cast and then we just like Anybody could be invited to the chaos class. So I think um I'll just put a post in the Chaos Africa channel. So if you have something you want to talk about, any topic, you know, about open source, about chaos, you can always like, you know, be on the podcast. But this one is chaos class. Okay. So yep. Yeah.
Will that answer your question, Hamza? Uh, okay. Um, are there any more feedback questions about anything? Um, then no. Thank you everybody for joining and um have a good rest of your day. Um and uh bye everyone. Thanks. Bye bye.